You spoke on, you know, growing up, hitting your first lick, and that was, uh, what was it, Ice Cream Man? Yeah, it was a few things, but that was one of them. I was a child, though, bro. I was, like, 12 years old. I didn't, no, I got no father. I don't know what's, what, and I wasn't, I had just jumped off the porch, so, yeah, I did a lot of shit. You know, I robbed, like, little ice cream, man. I, I, I broke in people's houses that was living across the street, uh, learned how to shoot dice. Uh, you know, we was bagging up quarter pounds of stress. At like 12 and a half, 13, like, yeah, we was outside for real. And that was on 53rd and Dinker. That was like, that's why I jumped off the porch. That's, that's where it was at. Like, I went to Fig when my mother, like, really lived over there when my mother died. Mm. And after you hit that lick at 12, you didn't get caught for that, right? No, not by the not by the police, but it's crazy though. You know why? Because I'm like the only white over there. So I don't I, I don't know, bro. But now nah, I didn't get caught for that. I didn't get caught like, till like later down the line. Like I think like at 14, I went to jail for some stupid shit. Like we had like took a whole bunch of like tools and shit. It was like 14, like just probably to get some weed money or just doing something. But it was kind of like messed up because it was like a church parking lot, kind of next to a gas station. And we went in there and we took like all the tools they had, like brand new tools. How'd y'all get caught though? Tried to sell them. Number the homies was trying to sell them to this Mexican right there. But uh, I knew something was going on because it was like he was trying to go in the house and shit. And uh, he ended up calling the police, saying he know where the tools came from. So we went to the police station for that. And uh, my mama was able to come get us. Well, come get me. And uh, after that, I didn't get caught really until like probably. 16. And then 16, what happened at 16? Purse snatching. That was the first thing. Like a purse snatching. I was like 16. We snatched some purses. Kind of got away. Got caught like 15 minutes later with the helicopter. I was under like some grass in the alley. Thought everything was good. Got up. Tried to walk away. They was playing me. Helicopter was kind of like five blocks down, but they was still on me. And uh, they got up on me. Like 12 cars. Went to LP for that, but I ended up getting a DA reject, probably like before the court date. Damn. So you said you got up. You feel like if you would have just stayed down for thirty minutes later, you probably would have got away with it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't on. I wasn't on my shit. Yeah. I should have. I should have just stayed there. Yeah. I would have went to sleep. Do you remember how much was in the purse, or did you even have time to look through the purse? Nah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I went. <laughs> I went through it, bro. It was a. It was a. It was a bus pass. It was like forty dollars. It was like some gum. <laughs> it wasn't really nothing, bro. I put like the bus pass, and I put like I think like forty dollars in my pocket, and I left the purse and something else. I just left it there. And when I walked, like when they before they jumped out, I kind of seen them because I was on uh, you know, one of my streets over there called the Zero, and um, I was able to kind of throw the. I heard them put the bus pass out and kind of threw it. But yeah, that, it was like stupid as fuck. I didn't. We didn't even really get nothing off of that. <laughs> but we yeah. was young and you know, dumb, hungry. Is that is that the most time you've done? Nah, nah, that ain't the most time I done. Like, like when I grew up, like my mother passed away. Like, so she passed away when I was fourteen. So that's when I moved on Fig, like permanently with my uh, sister, because my grandmother had a property over there, like a house, with, like some apartments in the back. But it was all for the family. So when I moved over there, you know, that's when I really. Uh, you know, start doing more, but now I went to jail for a pistol, so that was probably the longest violation with a, with a gun. Yeah, and you're in jail. Everybody hates the Hoovers. Mm -hmm. How do, how are you you know how what's what's that experience like? You going to jail and everybody hates you. It's just a lot of fights. It's a lot of like you you gonna be tested a lot. Like the L.A. County Jail, like it's kind of like. You could, it's kind of like worse than prison. Shit, for real. Like, unless it's like a level three or four kind, but still, like, cause the county jail is nothing but fighting all day. You hit the wrong dorm, like, you hit the wrong tank, you hit, and then when you go to court, so it's crazy, but yeah, like, I had fights in there. I was in Wayside. I fought somebody named C Mac from 5'5. Five five. I don't know, but his name was Baby C Mac. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, so. They don't, why, why don't they just put all the Hoovers together in jail? 
Cause that's like we don't like people don't really like talk to the police, but in the in Wayside, like in Wayside, they got like certain modules. Like they got gangster modules. They probably got like Hoover modules and they got bloods and then they got like the neighborhood modules. But you might not land in those. Yeah. You never know where you gonna land at. You can't pick where you wanna go. Nah, but like once you land in a certain dorm, like, you know, if your homie or somebody is the 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 dorm rep. You could stop being able to get in put, but when you in Wayside and you in the dorm in there, it's people coming in every day. So you might got to fight all day, depending on who you is and where you from. Yeah. Now, now you just you just said that um, you box C Mac, uh, yep. cool Crip Mac in, in, in jail. How long ago was this? No, 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 not him. It was somebody else named Baby C Mac. I don't okay. know if he took the dude's name or I don't know what happened, but it was somebody in 5'5 five five named Baby C Mac up in Supermax 714. And it wasn't him? Nah. And that was like okay. 2014. So, you know, those tweets, I mean, those Facebook posts, that's how you know that he was really banging like an Inland Empire Chino Hill. He was just a goofy. He was all over the place. Okay. So you, you're, you're saying that you fought the real. Yeah, Crit yeah, the, yeah, the one that was, yeah, the one that was from 5-5 five, five originally, yeah. And, and how did that end up? You got the W or what? Oh, uh, it was probably like a tie, I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, it, it was a tie, I ain't even gonna lie. We we kind of like fought and almost got caught because it went from behind the stairs to like up the stairs. It was escalating, yelling out, you know, fuck stuff and all type of shit. But nah, yeah. it, it was cool. It was whatever. 